Dean Baker says, you know what, guys? This crash is all up what Trump did. And let's, let's be fair. He did it with the help of a few uh, neoliberals. So let's go ahead and play that. And then we'll take it from there. Dean, so talk to us about the historical perspective here. How does this situation compare or differ from 2008? Are there circumstances even similar? It's a radically different situation. I think it's really important for people to understand it. 2008, the banks really were in trouble. They had invested a huge amount of money in mortgages, mortgage-backed securities that had really lost a very large portion of their value. And that was because the housing bubble collapsed. So in a lot of cases, you had house prices that had fallen 50, 60, 70 percent. The mortgages on those houses or mortgage-backed securities, they were almost worthless. So you really did have banks that were insolvent. In this case, you had banks, well, Silicon Valley Bank in particular, that exercised just horrible judgment. I mean, it's just kind of mind boggling. Like these were professionals. These were the the CEO of Silicon uh, Bank got 9.9 million last year. You go, what were you doing? And, you know, one point that can't be emphasized enough, Elizabeth Warner, Senator Warren made it in in, uh, her editorial column that you mentioned. They weakened regulation in a way that exactly allowed this to happen. Oftentimes it's ambiguous. You know, did this regulation? No, here it's unambiguous. If they had not weakened the regulation in 2018, the Silicon Valley Bank would have been subject to regular stress tests. One of the things you do in a stress test, you go, what would happen to this bank's finances if interest rates went up by three, four, five percentage points? They would have caught this. And I mean, the banks should have caught it themselves, but the regulators would have caught it. And they said, you're going to have to raise more capital, shed some of your deposits, maybe both, you know, and they wouldn't have been in this situation. So this is directly due to, to the Republican weakening of regulation that Donald Trump pushed in 2018. And that's why we're here. And that's why we're here. We changed regulation. If you, as you remember, yesterday, I played stuff from uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren as well as Katie Porter, who were furious that the the law was changed, who was furious, who were furious, two of them were furious that there were some complicit neoliberal Democrats as well that gave aid to Republicans to go ahead and change this law. This is why we must be consistent with our ethics and our morals. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.